What is an NFT? The non-fungible tokens. If you're wondering what is an NFT, how is an NFT different from cryptocurrency, and how does an NFT work, then you are in the right place. There is nothing like an explosion of blockchain news to leave you thinking, what's going on here? That was the feeling I have experienced while reading about Grimes getting millions of dollars for NFTs or about Neon Cat being sold as one. And by the time we all thought we sort of knew what the deal was, the founder of Twitter put an autographed tweet up for sale as an NFT. But are NFTs worth the money? Some experts say they are a bubble poised to pop. Others believe NFTs are here to stay and that they will change investing forever. Before starting, I would like to welcome you to the first episode of NFT Startup Business Deep Dive. I'm Michael Tadros, the professor. I have a diversified experience for many years working as a consultant for startup businesses and entrepreneurs as well as a project manager for agile, scrum, lean and conventional projects. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the other episodes and the full series. Now, let's get to it. What is an NFT? An NFT is a digital asset that represents real-world objects like art, music, in-game items and videos. They are bought and sold online frequently with cryptocurrency, and they are generally encoded with the same underlying software as many cryptos. Although they have been around since 2014, NFTs are gaining reputation now because they are becoming an increasingly popular way to buy and sell digital artwork. The market for NFTs was worth a staggering 41 billion US dollar in 2021 alone, an amount that is approaching the total value of the entire global fine art market. NFTs are also generally one of a kind, or at least one of a very limited run and have unique identifying codes. This stands in stark contrast to most digital creations, which are almost always infinity in supply. Hypothetically, cutting off the supply should raise the value of a giving asset, assuming it's in demand. But many NFTs, at least in these early days, have been digital creations that already exist in some form elsewhere, like iconic video clips from European Champions League or securitized versions of digital art that is already floating around on Instagram. Famous digital artist Mike Winkleman, better known as Beeple, crafted a composite of 5,000 daily drawings to create, perhaps, the most famous NFT of 2021. Its name, Every Days. The first 5,000 days, which sold at Christie's for a record-breaking 69.3 million US dollars. Anyone can view the individual images or even the entire collage of images online for free. So why are people willing to spend millions on something that could easily screenshot or download it? Because an NFT allows the buyer to own the original item. Not only that, it contains built-in authentication which serves as a proof of ownership. Collectors value those digital bragging rights almost more than the item itself. So, how is an NFT different from cryptocurrency? As I said, NFT stands for non-fungible token. It's generally built using the same kind of programming as cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin or Ethereum, but that's where the similarity ends. Physical money and cryptocurrencies are fungible, meaning they can be traded or exchanged for one another. They are also equal in value, like one dollar is always worth another dollar. One Bitcoin is always equal another Bitcoin. Crypto's fungibility makes it a trusted means of conducting transactions on the blockchain. NFTs are different. Each has a digital signature that makes it possible for NFTs to be exchanged for or equal to one another. One European Champions League top shot clip, for example, is not equal to every day's simply because they are both NFTs. Even one European Champions League clip is not even necessarily equal to another one. So, how does an NFT work? NFTs exist on a blockchain, which is a distributed public ledger that records transactions. You are probably most familiar with blockchain as the underlying process that makes cryptocurrencies possible. Specifically, NFTs are typically held on the Ethereum blockchain, although other blockchains support them as well. 
An NFT is created or minted from digital objects that represent both tangible and intangible items, including graphic art, GIFs, videos and sport highlights, collectibles, virtual avatars and video games, designer sneakers, and music. Even tweets count. Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey sold his first ever tweet as an NFT for more than 2.9 million US dollars. Essentially, NFTs are like physical collector's items, but only digital. So instead of getting an actual oil painting to hang on the wall, the buyer gets a digital file instead. They also get exclusive ownership rights. NFTs can have only one owner at a time, and their use of blockchain technology makes it easy to verify ownership and transfer token between owners. The creator can also store specific information in an NFT's metadata. For instance, artists can sign their artwork by including their signature in the file. By the way, on the other episodes of this series, you can find more information about some ideas to start your own NFT startup business. So, what are NFTs used for? Blockchain technology and NFTs afford artists and content creators a unique opportunity to monetize their wares. For example, arts no longer have to rely on galleries or auction houses to sell their art. Instead, the arts can sell it directly to the consumer as an NFT, which also lets them keep more of the profits. In addition, arts can program in realities, so they will receive a percentage of sales whenever their art is sold to a new owner. This is an attractive feature, as artists generally do not receive future proceeds after their art is first sold. Art is not the only way to make money with NFTs. Brands like Charmin and Taco Bell have auctioned off themed NFT art to raise funds for charity. Charmin dubbed its offering NFTP, non-fungible toilet paper, and Taco Bell's NFT art sold out in minutes, with the highest bids coming in at 1.5 wrapped other, which was equal to 3,723 US dollar at the time of this video. Neon Cat, a 2011 era GIF of a cat with a pop tart body, sold for nearly 600,000 US dollars in February, and NBA Top Shoot generated more than 500 million US dollars in sales as of late March. A single LeBron James highlight NFT fetched more than 200,000 US dollars. Even celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Lindsay Lohan are jumping on the NFT bandwagon, releasing unique memories, artwork, and moments as securitized NFTs. Now, I believe you have more information about the NFT. How is an NFT different from cryptocurrency? And how does an NFT work? Thanks for joining me for this first episode of NFT Startup Business Deep Dive. I hope you will join me again for the other episodes. Therefore, if you have not already, now is the time to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the other episodes. Just click the button down below to subscribe and make sure you ring the bell so you get noticed when other videos come out. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and make sure to leave your questions or your comments down below and tell me what NFT business are you planning right now. I look forward to talking to you at my next video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.